Hi friends. So today we will have a discussion about an interesting topic which will be very much useful to the student community who are going to undertake the project. See a lot of students will treat a project like a big barrier in front of us. There is no need for that. Actually the project will help you to understand more about the coding and programming concept. So before executing a project or a program definitely we need some uh, we need the help of a model or a template in order to know how our project or a program will look like a template or a model will definitely give an understanding about the concept that we are going to develop so before going to develop a project a lot of student friends will download the project from any free downloadable websites but they face a major issue that how we can execute that project in our system so here comes a solution for executing a PHP project that you have downloaded from any website in our system. So in order to execute the project, first of all, we need to install a SAM software in our system. We need to install a compatible SAM version to your system. And we have to follow certain steps in order to execute that particular project. So now we can move on to our system. So friends, we can move on to the various steps that is related in the execution of the downloaded project. So first of all, we have to select that particular project file. So usually when we download something, it will be present in the download folder, downloads folder. So just open it. Here you can see the project uh, that you have downloaded from internet. So usually the downloaded project will be in the form of an RQ format. We need to extract it. So just click on it, then extract. Here you can see the project folder, just open it, the project folder, inside the project folder you can see a lot of files, uh, especially the designing files, the images used in the project, uh, the important uh, usernames, passwords, etc. Et and also the database files. Usually these kinds of files will be present inside the project folder. So here you can see the designing and the files related to the scripts like PHP, JavaScripts, etc. and also the images used in the development. and uh, here you can see the database file. So uh, there will be a lot of differences in the project file that we have downloaded. Usually uh, these kinds of files will be present inside that downloaded folder. And also there will be a readme file. This consists of the important terms related to the project. Usually the username, passwords and how we can execute this project etc. Okay. So the next step is just copy the feedback system. That is the project file just copy it just copy it and just move to the folder SAMP X A M P P SAMP inside that SAMP you can see a folder named as HT Docs click on it open HT Docs then paste here so SAMP is the important entity that will help us to execute the project that is developed in PHP script. So we have downloaded a particular project. We need to extract it. We need to copy that project folders and just place inside the SAMP folder, especially in SAM HT docs folder, because inside the HT docs, usually the project folders will be present. Okay. Then the next thing is we have to import the database file. Okay, so here is the database file. We have to import it. So how we can import the database file? For that, first of all, we need to open the SAMP control panel. This is a SAMP control panel. Just click on it. There you can see the two important terms like Apache and MySQL. Apache is a server, is a local server that will be helpful to execute the PHP script that will be helpful to execute the web oriented projects. Okay. The next term is MySQL. MySQL stands for the database. Here we have downloaded by a project based on the PHP script and a MySQL database. So we need to start these two terms in order to execute the project. So initially this will be in the stop state. So we have to change it. We have to start these two terms, start Apache and also start MySQL. So these two terms are getting ok now right then the next important step after uh, starting the Apache and MySQL is to open your browser 
so here I just open the Chrome and type local host local host then press enter key type local host in your browsers and press enter key so there comes a home page of your SAMP and here you can see PHP my admin section on the top right corner of the home page or the dashboard of the SAMP you can see PHP my admin section just click on it so now the PHP my admin session inside the SAMP is open so there you can see a lot of menus you can see a menu named as new to create a new database so just click new and uh, here uh, you can see a lot of steps in the creation of a new database so you have already downloaded a project and there you can see a database so now move on to the downloaded file so this is a database this is the name of the database that is feed bs so just open php my admin session and type the name feed bs which is the name of the database that you have downloaded then click create button create button okay so the database file is being created you can see a feed bs now we have to import the database file so here you can see the import option click on it then we have to choose the database file that we have downloaded so choose that file click on the choose file option and uh, a pop-up window will get open and from there you can select the database file okay so now the pop-up window has been opened select downloads select the file that you have downloaded select it then click open so now the database file is being chosen and after that click go button present in the bottom section okay click go so now the database is been successfully imported and the steps have been finished so almost 25 queries is been executed so usually these uh, queries will be different based on different database file that you have downloaded so the next important step is the execution of a project so for that just open your browser then type local host then after that place a slash then type the name of the project type the name of the project in a correct and meaningful manner so the name of the project that you have downloaded is feedback system so type the name here feedback system then after typing the name click enter so this is a project that you have downloaded this is a various section related to a project so now we can test whether this project run without the help of SAM so open the SAM control panel just stop Apache ok just stop MySQL then open the browser press enter key so you can see that the site cannot be reached this is because the project consists of the PHP script so PHP is a server-side scripting language so these kinds of script usually need the help of a local server in order to execute so here the SAM provide the local server named as Apache and also the database named as MySQL so in order to execute the project that consists of the PHP script we need the help of the local server named as Apache so we need to start it and since the project is connected with the database we need the help of MySQL database too and just open your browser then you can see the project has been loaded so we have seen 
various steps related in the execution of a project that you have downloaded from internet. Hope you got an idea. So I hope you got an idea about the execution of a PHP project that you have downloaded from the website to this video. So if you feel worth watching this video, please subscribe and like my video. Thank you all. See you in the next video.